Hello critters, welcome to today's 3D print. We're going to talk about food safe printing. What is it? So I see a lot of people asking about food safe plastic and food safe printing. So it's very important to understand that there's a big difference here. This is food safe. This is not. <laughs> now, and even this comes with a proviso. Um, do not take my word for any of this. You do your own research. I'm not giving anybody food advice. What I can say is most plastics, probably except ABS, but PETG and nylon, and um, I don't know about ASA, but PLA, um, etc., is food safe. But what does that mean? Because this is not food safe. So how could this be food safe? But this not be food safe well that's very simple first of all the plastic itself is probably food safe but the colorants might not be meaning the the dyes they use to make whatever color we you don't know if that's food safe so you're gonna have to do your own research on that and then the other problem you have is that the reason this is not food safe doesn't have anything to do with the plastic it has to do with the manufacturing method, the, f the way this was fabricated. So this is a 1.3 millimeter layer height, which really amplifies this issue. So you can see this is a 0.6 millimeter layer height, and that actually looks downright fine compared to this at 1.3 millimeter layer height. The reason these plastic parts have a food safe issue is not the plastic, but the way it's made. All these crannies, nooks, voids, layers, gaps, etc., is where little micro critters can hide. And it's very difficult to remove them. A little bit easier on a part like this, which is basically a cup. Um, this is actually watertight. Uh, but you're never going to get it all out. That's why we use sanitizing methods. So, for example, an autoclave. Well, you could think of a dishwasher as kind of a primitive autoclave. But we use hot water and chemicals to clean our items that we use for food. Well, the problem is those methods of cleaning don't work on this because this will melt. And even if they do work, there's no way to ensure you're going to get into every little nook and cranny hiding inside of this print that could be hiding who knows what. Now, there are provisos. For example, if I were to cover this in a polyurethane coating, effectively filling in all the nooks, crannies, and voids, now there are ways to sanitize this. Technically, all epoxies are food safe if fully cured. Um, obviously, you'd have to do your own research. So if I were to coat this in polyurethane and fill all the nooks and crannies, I could now, for example, use isopropyl alcohol to clean this. And it would be able to successfully clean it because now nothing can get into these nooks and crannies because they'll be sealed and filled. Think of it like um, glazing um, a ceramic dish. That's the reason you glaze it is to seal it uh, so that food can't get into the porous material of the ceramic. Now, you can, for example, make a cookie cutter and use that to cut. For example, this would be great for cutting biscuits. So cut a biscuit shape. Um, and this is probably food safe. Well, why? Well, it's pretty simple. It's the same reason that it's okay for me to handle a pizza with my bare hands and feed it to you. But only at certain stages. <laughs> See, before the oven, it's okay to touch the pizza. After the oven, no unprotected hands can touch the pizza, except for the customer. And the reason for that is pretty simple. You know, yes, I can transfer stuff to the pizza... Um, you know, pick my nose, you know, touch a dirty countertop, whatever. It's possible for stuff to transfer to that pizza, but it's going into an oven. And that oven is going to kill anything that's on it. Well, the same thing is going to apply for this cookie or biscuit cutter. So as long as you do a reasonable job of cleaning this off and keeping it dry so things don't grow on it, it's probably perfectly okay. I'm not going to say it is okay, but it's probably perfectly okay for you to use a cookie cutter or biscuit cutter over and over again in order to make cookies because those cookies are then going to go into an oven 
and that oven is going to reach a temperature high enough to kill anything that you may or may not have transferred onto those cookies from either your utensils or from your hands. So that is probably safe. However, you would not want to use this as a soup dish <laughs> because, um, well, yeah, you can. I could, I could eat soup out of this. I can drink soda out of this one time. The problem is there is now no way for me to properly sanitize this cup to know for certain nothing is going to grow in it again. Or even if I like use UV light to kill whatever might be growing on it, something could be hiding in one of the voids. You can hear my finger. Something could be hiding in one of these voids, and then you have no way of knowing, did you actually clean it? Is there any reasonable chance that you cleaned it? The answer is no. So you would have to either not use this for food, use it one time only, or you'd have to seal this somehow. So, for example, the polyurethane coating to seal it, which would fill in all of these nooks and crannies and give you a homogenous um, solid surface where nothing can penetrate, meaning you can now use sanitization methods to clean it. But that's the issue with food safe and 3D printing. It's not the plastic that's the problem. It's the fabrication method that's the problem. It's the fabrication method that uses discrete layers of plastic that are laid on top of each other over and over and over again, inside and outside, and the inability for you to properly sanitize this part because, for example, if you were to put this in a dishwasher, it would just melt. So the combination of those two things, meaning the fabrication method and because we're using plastic, is that you can't really trust this with food, especially if you're going to be putting food inside of it. For prepping food, you're probably okay. So making yourself a measuring cup, for example. Um making um, a cookie cutter, a biscuit cutter, you know, anything where the food that made contact with this is then going to go into a oven. That's probably safe. That's probably okay. Use reasonable precautions. Make sure there's no mold growing in it. You know, clean it up when you're done. Make sure it dries fully. You know, you know take reasonable care. I'm not telling you it's going to be safe, but I'm telling you that I personally wouldn't worry about it. As long as whatever I put in here is going to be cooked at a high enough temperature to kill anything that might be in there, it's probably safe. But that's why you can't make, for example, a, a food storage container for things that are not dry, um, a leftovers container, plates, bowls, cups. They're just, the risk is too high because there's no way for you to ensure that something isn't hiding in one of those nooks and crannies. I mean, the probability of something hiding in a nook and cranny is pretty low, but what about the second time you use it? And the third time? And the fourth time? And the fifth time? And the sixth time? You see what I mean? The odds are not forever in your favor as you reuse it over and over again. And that's why the food safe plastic doesn't result in a food safe part because of the fabrication method because of the layered nature, the gap, void, crack, nooks and crannies nature of a 3D print. So I hope that clarifies the food safe issue um, with 3D printing. Um, be safe, you know, use your head, use your best judgment. Again, your cookie cutters are fine. You know, take a brush, clean the parts, rinse them off, clean them off, make sure there's nothing, nothing that's gonna grow mold on it. When you go to, when you go to use it a second time, a week later to cut your biscuits, examine it, make sure nothing's growing in it, make sure nothing's weird about it, and then of course, make sure you cook whatever it is you cut, so that if there is some sort of a transfer, the cooking process will sanitize your food for you. If you have any questions, ask down below. You guys have a wonderful day.